Hi, we're Kirsten and Lewis and we've lived in our VW Crafton in Cora since 2021. This week we're heading to Gouda, which is known as the cheese capital of the world. So come with us and explore this beautiful city. So yeah, we've driven to, to Gouda. It's in the south of Holland. Famous for its cheese, obviously. Um, we came here because there was a car park which had a very nice looking motorhome section. Motorhome section is very full. There's lots of cars even parked there. There's like two cars parked consecutively in the motorhome spots, which is quite irritating, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? It's a Saturday night. So now we're just looking at alternative places. The space that we're in at the minute, we've had to cover two spaces because it's a disabled spot. We've obviously got a disabled badge, but there's a pole right in the middle, so we can't get the back to overhang properly. All the other spaces are free, so it should be okay. But I don't think it's gonna be cool for us to stay here overnight. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is one of the, the rubbish realities of van life, is that you can have a massively long day and use up all your energy and then expect there to be a space. And you just wanna park up, go to bed, stick the telly on or something, but no. You're sat in the front, in the middle of a city in Holland. <sighs> Kirsten's not talking. I'm just trying to find somewhere to get on my news. I just want to be in bed. I'm so tired. <gasps> what have you found? It's just by a retail park. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. How far out is it? Ten minutes. One mile. We found a spot. Only six minutes around the corner. Yeah, only six minutes away from the original park, so end of a end of a long day, big relief. Kirsten's now making us cheese and crackers and we're gonna watch TV. So it's about them home comforts, isn't it? You know, living on the road and that. So this is where we parked up Cora for the night. It was actually quite a peaceful night. It's just kind of a retail estate, so there's shops and on the other side there was a couple of people living in their boats. So that was quite cool. But uh, yeah, we headed into Gouda. It took us about 20 minutes from here. But the walk-in is really pretty. You pass like a lot of canals and just generally pretty areas. So it's not a bad walk. It doesn't feel like 20 minutes. Ah, oh, look at the little cogs. So I put a story on my Instagram where I said anyone that used the promo code CHEESE on, on my music store can get 50% off and we had a few sales so we had to come buy cheese. So we literally found probably the only cheese shop in Gouda that's open on a Sunday. This is Gouda's 15th century town hall which is pretty impressive on its own but also this little sign I loved. Basically at two minutes past every hour and 32 minutes past every hour, there's these really cute puppets that come out and like the big kid I am, I just thought it was so cool. So yeah, wait and see. Two minutes past. Ah, no problem.
This is St. John's Church. It's actually famous for its 72 windows, but unfortunately it's closed on a Sunday and that's the day that we were there. So we couldn't see inside, but you can see it's very impressive from the outside anyways. It's actually the longest church in the whole of the Netherlands. It smells good, doesn't it? Mm. It smells good. Smell, smell onions. Oh yeah, it does smell like onions. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> what do you smell? Let's go in now. Go in. Let's go in. It must be this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. I wish you could add smells to video. These little bridges are so cute. It's not just like scratching the screen. Cheese. Close one. How big the cheese is at the back. I'm here. Look how big these are. I reckon we'd eat all in a week. They are missing out on some great custom by Jamie. I will be buying a full on wheel. <laughs> there were a couple of shops like this dotted around Gouda, and we absolutely love shops like this because you just never know what you're going to find. We just love all like weird and wonderful things. So I would recommend these if you do pass. Oh, these blankets look so nice. Oh my god, cars. <laughs> and the robot's gone. Oh, I love the camera ones. And they jump up. You what? That's cool. Is that what it's called? I never know what it's called. What glasses? What do you mean? Are they music box? got cheese walking back to the van gonna go to Amsterdam and yeah it's a bit rainy so I don't know why we've stopped right now <laughs> okay So this is the jumper I got. I've been looking for a jumper with this colour and this pattern for ages. Oh, they put a little card in it. That's what it's called and that's the map. <laughs> but it's really cute. Let's wave it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we just picked these up. Yeah. But I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But they're essentially this jobby sauce is like mayonnaise with curry powder and onions so i'm gonna try them but we also got vanilla coke with sugar in which you can't get in the uk you can only get zero and it tastes horrific and we also got a big bottle of fritz sauce taste test oh you are filming yeah i thought i thought you'd go out No, what they smell like? They smell like there's a flavour in the UK that smells smell. like that. So they smell like vinegar to me. It smell might be pickled onion. Maybe. Maybe. It might smell like that. Try it, try it, try it. Mm. Need another one. <laughs> How much flavour on that? Oh no, that's not good to that. Oh, what's the verdict? Were they waste of money? No, oh, they're nice. But. It's just, it's more potatoey than it is like flavoury. So they just taste it. like plain crisps? No, they, there's like a flavour there, but it's, it's like undertones. It's not like. 
not in your face. I can taste curry. That's quite strong. What if I just had like the ones with no flavour on them or something? That was quite strong. <laughs> it's there, but it's, I don't know. You just like it, really strong I stuff. I think they're supposed to be like, it's supposed to taste like fries as well. So maybe that's why it's not so strong. They definitely, I can taste them. Maybe I just got a rubbish taste then. You just like strong, strong stuff. Saying that, I used yeah. to smoke as well. That damages the taste. Yep. Right, so we're going to leave this video there. We're going to head to Amsterdam now. So tune in next time and see what we get up to. Also, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell your friends. <laughs> Bye.